Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be celebration themed because I convinced my mom over here to go to celebration with me. There's Sherry. Hi. And I'm going to film all of the restaurants and kind of explain and show you guys the menu of what they have to offer. I'm really excited because this is one of my video ideas that I had about celebration. If you haven't seen my previous we celebration, tried. Yeah, I know we, we did try. It was too rainy. Yeah, so if you haven't seen my previous celebration video, I will link that down below so you guys can watch it. It was all about my experience of living and growing up in Disney's perfect town known as Celebration Florida. But before that, we are going to send the giveaway winner the Apple Watch. I'm so excited. It is Monday, so she should get it like fairly soon because it's a weekday. We're gonna ship that out and then we're gonna head to a celebration. If you aren't already, please subscribe. I do a lot of giveaways. I'm currently having a back to school giveaway so if you want to go enter that go ahead and do so and I'm looking forward to doing more giveaways in the future so make sure you are subscribed and hit the little bell ready Sherry I'm ready let's go we are here we are here and this is where we always park when we come to celebration this back lot our first stop is going to be the post office Woohoo! oh my gosh this used to be a dance studio yeah you remember that I don't know, maybe you guys will also get a little like other facts and tidbits because Sherry and I are probably gonna walk around here. This is a good photo option. Only I wanna do a whole like best photo locations and celebration video. So thumbs up this video if you want that because I've done like about two photo shoots here and everything turned out really, really well. All of that is boarded up. Not boarded, but it all closed. Sherry just pointed that out. All right, look at this big rain cloud. Okay, I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna go to the post office. All right, I just wanna take a moment to appreciate how cute this little wrapping paper is. I'm so excited for Sophia to receive this. Okay, so we got the giveaway prize all shipped out. The first stop on our little tour here is the Sweet Escape Bakery. This isn't actually a restaurant, it's a bakery, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what they have in there. It's kind of like baked goods and stuff. Oh gosh, well this is entertaining. I mean, don't get too close. I'll take it all away if you get too close. Sherry thinks this is really entertaining watching these birds eat this. Um, it kind of is. I'm just taking, I'm just taking a little movie. Yeah. So they have like cookies, donuts, bagels, croissants, all sorts of things in here. This place has been here for quite a while. It is one of the newer shops, but it is cute and it reminds us of Bakery Story. Yes, you can also get um, sandwiches. Oh, you can also get sandwiches. Okay, so this is a menu for their sweet deli and they have like all sorts of different options. The next restaurant we've come to is called Taitani and obviously it's Thai, so here's their little hours. I don't know if I'm like gonna go in and film. Should I go in and film? Is there a menu? Okay, well this is like a little brief inside of Titani. Um, the air conditioning's nice. Hi, I was just taking a little movie. <laughs> Thank you. They have really good curry. They have really good curry, yes, that's what she just very said. Very good curry, any kind of chicken curry, shrimp curry, it's really good. And now I think our next stop is the wine bar. What about the Wonderland cookie dough? Wonderland cookie dough? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many places here that I just don't know about. Okay, so we think Wonderland Cookie Dough has closed because it's not open oh, it and open it opens at noon, but you guys can kind of see in there. It's like cookies and ice cream, it looks like. Yeah, I've never actually been in this one, so that's why I overlooked it. Okay, Soft as a Grape is awesome, but we're not doing stores today. Our next stop is the Emporium Food and Wine. We just call this the Wine Bar. Here's the menu. They have like Caesar salads and stuff. So they have all sorts of different fun little appetizer things that people could get. And it's really relaxing to have a drink outside in the evening. Sherry and I did it once. It was awesome. A little pricey, but the environment is what makes it worth it. Here's a little peek inside the wine bar. Anyway. They have all these like wines in their little cellar here and yeah, it's really chill in there and it's really nice. So these are the wines that they have. They just have so many choices. So like obviously you're just gonna have to like pause and read. That's the food side you've already seen. This is really cool cause like they have all of this outdoor seating as you guys can see. Now this place, 
I was in first grade and I used to love coming here. It's the cutest little restaurant. Are they open? I don't know. But it's not really like a sit down inside restaurant. They have some outdoor seating, which they've expanded on since I've lived here, but it's so cute. And this is what it looks like. They have pizza, wings, subs, and salads. It's called Upper Crust. This has been here ever since we moved here. I'm so happy they're still open. And their pieces of pizza are so big. I'm gonna open the door and like see if I can get a little clip. Hi, just taking a little movie. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. See, it's like a little cute little restaurant area where you just pick up your your pizza and everything it still smells the exact same from when i was a kid so that's pretty neat moving right along this is also i love how two of my favorite restaurants are still here and they're right next to each other this is the market street cafe this window used to be uh see-through like you could see through it yeah. i don't know why they blacked it out but this Market Street Cafe has gone under so many changes of management. It's crazy. We used to have a plaque here. It doesn't look uh, the same as it used to, obviously. It's still a little retro. It's still a little retro. I'm gonna go in. They actually changed the logo too. But, oh my gosh, they did a great job with this place. It looks great. I'm just taking a little movie. Um, but yeah, like this is definitely changed. So um, like the old version, like this used to be like a waiting area. And then like this side is where you used to check in. And there used to be like plaques on the walls like here with like people's names. It's just like really, really different. It's like more modernized mm -hmm. from when I lived it's here. Cool. It still like has the same vibes, but, and they still have like the bar stools here and they still have the visible kitchen that you could see. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, this is like lady. She's like, you should ask before you film people. Well, number one lady, you're in a public place. You can't you do- You weren't filming her. I wasn't filming her. Area. I was just like filming the area. So I want to get a picture here. Okay. But anyway, yeah, she was kind of rude. Like I hate rude people. Good thing I don't work in like service anymore or else like I would have to deal with no that. In front of like that. Uh, yeah. The sign on the window. This is Market Street. No, because you can't really see it. This is like the um, okay. old fashioned one. Okay. So this is their outdoor seating. It's pretty much a little bit different. They just have like different um, tables and stuff. Dude, this makes me want to go on like a rant and video. So <laughs> I am actually going to probably make a video on like vlogging in public and stuff and like dealing with rude people like that Because dude when you're in a public place like there's cameras everywhere Like I'm sure that like all these restaurants have cameras on people But anyway, I'm not gonna film like people because I don't want to get yelled at again by like rude people So this hasn't changed a bit since I've lived here. It looks exactly the same pretty much This is the door. I'm not gonna go inside because like I don't know Sherry just warned me like not to <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, it's really, and, it's really dark and stuff. So this is like a cute little sign that they have. This is their menu. You can't really see it because of the glare. They just have like a lot of burgers and seafood stuff. And it, think of like a New Orleans, not New Orleans, New England. Yes. It's like a Boston. New England, Boston type of uh, restaurant venue. This is like the outside bar and everything. So um, there's another side, but there's like a lot of people there because you never know if like anyone's gonna bring out their claws. Um, so anyway, this is like the bar area and pretty much it looks the same on the other side. Of course, Starbucks. You gotta love it. This is actually where I took some of my footage from my outfits videos. Every cup is an adventure sign. This is where this mural is. It's at the Starbucks in Celebration. If anyone was curious, again, I want to do a photo location video. So this is the Starbucks. This is the outdoor seating area. And the inside is like any other Starbucks with their merch. So I don't think I'm gonna go in there. Do you think we need to go into Starbucks, Sherry? Not really. She's probably hungry. That's why she's same, discouraging. It's the same as all the other Starbucks. Yeah, it's not that. It's not that fancy. This used to be Sherlock's. Sherlock's. This it's used to be a, a bar. Ever since then. It's been a couple things ever since then. We don't really know what it is, but it looks like it's a Mexican grill. Okay. So they have outdoor seating here. Ooh. My Aunt Wendy would love that if she watches this video. But this used to be Sherlock's when I was a kid and like all the adults loved to like hang out here and like drink and stuff. That was before the wine bar was a thing. So it's called Avocado Mexican Grill. Very interesting. Avocado Mexican Grill. Yeah. 
here's a better view of like their menu um if you want to like pause and like read that sorry about like the really bad angle but yeah i just want to just kind of show you like the stuff that i remember as a kid and definitely this outdoor seating area is definitely like one of the most significant they have like a little area in there it's not like that big okay now we're going to the other side this was like if you're looking at main street we were coming down the right side we're gonna now um go down the left side this is the side that the bakery was on i don't know why we like cross the street but we're going to this restaurant called d'antonio okay so this is the restaurant d'antonio cafe and it's Italian. They just have like a lot of pastas and stuff. It's like an old fashioned type of restaurant. It's very fancy, not very fancy, but like it's one of the nicer restaurants. So, oh, it's like the specials. Yeah. It looks like the specials. Our operation. See, they have like a dinner menu. It's like two sided. This is doing a really bad job of capturing the items. I'm sorry. And then here's the lunch menu. There's two like lunch menus that they have here. This was like not covered. This is all like new and built. It used to be like an outdoor seating, kind of like the Asian restaurant. We were here on vacation from Ohio and my dentist said, oh, have you ever been over to Celebration? And we said, no. And he said, oh, they have a great Italian restaurant over there. It's a Disney developed community. You guys should go over and check it out. You're such Disney nuts. So we were here, we happened to have a car because it was right after 9-11 and we decided to drive down instead of fly. So we came down, we looked around, went through some model homes to see what it was like here. And we came to D'Antonio's to have lunch. And we sat at this very end table down here. We sat at this, probably this table here. We sat at that table and we looked out at this beautiful lake and the beautiful hotel in this lovely downtown area and said, why do we live in Ohio? So we started looking around and we went to more model homes trying to figure out how we could move here. And we bought a house while we were here. We picked out a house and a lot. Ended up, we ended up getting a different house and a lot later on, but that was in December. And by the next July, we were in celebration. And that's the story of how we decided to move here. It is, it all has to do with D'Antonio and my dentist. Okay, so this is the next restaurant we're coming up to. This has gone through so many names. It's Japanese cuisine. This is the menu for the Japanese place. I'm sorry, I kind of went fast but you can kind of see they have many options. These are always really good. The bento boxes, you bento get salad and California roll and rice. You could get chicken, salmon, steak, whatever yeah. you wanted with it. It was really good. So I guess it's called Ari now. So this is the restaurant. I, okay, funny story. This is like a funny story time about this restaurant, Sherry. I was here with one of my friends and, and my parents. All of us went out to eat and I tried to swallow a whole ice cube and I almost choked. Is that a funny story? <laughs> okay, well anyway, I think it's funny because like that's what, like my biggest memory of this really? restaurant is like choking on an ice cube when I was young. It's gone through so much management changes that it's, it's just it's been, a totally new name it has a totally new name. I have no idea what it is, but if you like Japanese food, you could head over there. This my friends is a macaroon store. It's called Le Macaroon. And this used to be a Hello Kitty store. Ooh, this is aesthetic. I really like this place. Hi. But yeah, this is like a really cool area. I don't really know much about it. That used to be a Hello Kitty store. This is a Wolfgang Bakery. Show the little sign here. This is a Wolfgang Bakery. It's really popular for people um, and their dogs to come. And that's actually been here for a while. Yes. Wolfgang has been here for a while. Um, and now we're coming up to Killwins. Here's Killwins. And this is an ice cream shop. It used to be something else, right? Yeah, it did. What, what, what was it called? I don't remember. Before it was Killwins, I don't really know what it used to be, but. It was bigger. Yeah, it was a lot bigger. And it also served lunch. See, like back there, it used to be um, seating area for when after people got their um, ice cream. You could sit there and order lunch too. Yep, but now it's all different. The outdoor seating area has not changed one bit. It still looks the same, actually. And we're coming up on the movie theater that's not a movie theater anymore. Um, I might make a video about this, but I'm there's not much to say about it. This used to be an AMC, and then I guess people stopped going to the movies. I think I've seen a, a few movies here. We have. We used to see movies here all the time. Yeah. It's very small. It's only two theaters. Yep. 
And very small Ames town. Still owns the building. Yep. Or leases it, whatever. And it was probably a competition for Disney Springs AMC, so they closed it. Yep. We're coming up on a restaurant here, which I am not too familiar with. Are you? Well, it's the Columbia restaurant. The it's the Columbia. Columbia restaurant is in Garber City, Live City, something by Tampa, the original one. This is another one. This is a Cuban restaurant. And didn't Fowler get like food poisoning or something from here? No, this is just where we were when she started getting sick after our Disney, everybody got sick at Thanksgiving. Right, I remember that because we had um, we had right. dinner here with some other people, once with some friends. White sangria here. White sangria. White sangria. Ooh. And they have a 1905 salad that's really good. 1905 salad, cool. So it is a really good restaurant. Again, I'm not going to go in because it's kind of like a sit down and I don't even know if they're open yet. But this is their outdoor seating. It's pretty well known in celebration. This is pretty much what it looks like. Has some nice hedges. Looks like this. You can kind of see inside. Again, it's kind of like the Italian restaurant where like there's, you know, it's kind of fancy with the like the white tablecloths and stuff. So we decided to come to Market Street Cafe for well, Market Street, what do they call this diner? But we still call it Market Street Cafe because that's what it used to be known as. This is where the lady yelled at me for like filming. Um, but we decided to come here for lunch. It's always super good. This used to be like where plaques were and they just have made it like really more modern. All right, Sherry. All right, so Sherry over here got an omelet. I got a side of fries. Their fries are some of the best fries ever here. And I got a Caesar salad with shrimp. I forgot to ask with no Parmesan, so that's on me. I used to get a hot dog here, but <laughs> I upgraded. <laughs> oh, Sherry. Hot dog girls growing up. Okay. Guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I covered, I believe, everything dealing with food in Celebration Florida. If you have any other questions or want more details, leave it in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up for more Celebration videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, August 7th, there it is. You wanna say bye? Bye.